This is officially the wettest day of our hike so far. Yeah, it's hard to describe, but it's just that feeling of you're enough. Like you don't need a lot of things. That's like nothing else I've ever experienced before. And it makes me so happy. Today is a special day. Otto doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm a long distance hiker and backpacker. With my rescue dog Otto, I'm currently hiking the length of Britain from Scotland to Cornwall. Come join us on days 23 and 24 that saw us starting the West Highland Way and walking from Glen Nevis to Kinloch Leven and taking a detour to Glencoe. Good morning! We just left Glen Nevis and we are on the West Highland Way and I couldn't be happier. It's so beautiful and I already know what's ahead. The landscape that we are hiking through and it just hit me this morning how happy it is actually makes me to be outside, to be hiking, even if you have like very little comfort but and it's cold it, it's raining but still it's it's so special and to be able to do this and yeah it's it makes me so happy um, yeah even on a day like this yeah I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world it just hit me when I had tea this morning how little you I actually need to be happy just like shelter warm food or drinks a tea a coffee and then just nature to be outside it's an incredible feeling and feeling of yeah freedom and happiness that I didn't feel like this um, before in any other things like of course you're you're also happy in your life back home but this is something special yeah it's hard to describe but it's just that feeling of that you're enough like you don't need a lot of things you don't need a lot of you don't need to consume a lot of things or um, have like special luxury things or expensive things, whatever, material things. Yeah, it's just that that, that feeling of, of freedom and that's like nothing else I've ever experienced before and it makes me so happy. It's gonna be a great day. There it is. The Ben, Ben Nevis, the highest peak in the UK. Fun fact about Ben Nevis, apparently the summit uh, is in the clouds over 300 days a year, so almost every day. And yeah, today as well.
this is officially the wettest day of our hike so far which is not that bad we've been hiking for three weeks now over three weeks but uh, the last hour has been a bit horrible i'm really wet my rain jacket has let some water in it's still a cool stretch and it's not too far from our end point uh, i think it's okay it's only another maybe hour and a half so yeah still okay <laughs> The rain has stopped, finally. Uh, I'm starting to get a bit cold because we're both soaking wet and oh, yeah, it was really tough. It was hard going. The path is pretty good, but it's like really bumpy and rocky. So yeah, just have to watch your step all the time. And I'm quite tired. But we've almost made it! That's Kindloch Leven down there I and I can even see the campsite. Not long, we just have to go down this little hill. I can't wait to get a coffee or tea, something hot and warm up a bit. We made it to Kindloch Leven and this is our home for the next one and a half days. I'm gonna take a rest day tomorrow here and just um, chilling for a bit and uh, doing some editing. And I just got some food. There was not a lot uh, left at the co-op, but I got some olives and um, I got a cider and some crisps and uh, some sweets. Because today, yeah, it has been a hard day. I can really feel it, it was uh, hard on the feet. And I'm gonna enjoy a relaxed evening. All my clothes are in the drying room because it, I was really like soaking wet. Everything was soaking wet. And I took a shower, so yeah, life is good. And see you tomorrow. <laughs> from our pot and we just had a little walk and I bought uh, some snacks and supplies and now yeah we're just resting Otto is uh, still a bit tired from yesterday it was yeah it was a bit tough our um, stuff is still wet and still in the drying room and now I'm gonna edit a video and relax for a bit Today is a special day. Otto doesn't know it yet, but we just came off the West Highland Way in Kinloch Leven and we're walking along a small road towards Glencoe. And that's where we're gonna meet my boyfriend. He's uh, visiting us for a few days. He's just on the Caledonian sleeper from London to Fort William. And we're gonna meet in Glencoe in just a yeah, a few hours and I'm so excited and I think Otto <laughs> Otto's gonna go bananas when he sees him. I'm really excited. We're gonna explore the area around Glencoe, Glenetee for a couple of days while camping a bit, enjoying some time together. I'm really happy. Then in a few days we're gonna continue on the West Highland Way 
um, from King's House towards Tindrum and then um, further on to Loch Lomond. I think it's gonna be a great day. So we are gonna walk to Glencoe now and see you later. I don't know what I'm doing. We were walking along the road and it wasn't too busy but on my maps I saw a little path going next to the road but a bit higher up and I thought oh that's that's nice also can be off leash for a little bit and it's gonna be nice walking through some forest areas into Glencoe but then the path is like this and that's already the better part it's really wet and boggy i'm so excited i think my boyfriend's already in Co waiting for us and yeah i want to get there but it's really it's a bit hard going and yeah it takes so long but i think we're getting closer now at least tonight look at that the view over Glencoe is really really stunning and yeah it's been a perfect day we walked to the campsite and we just uh, spent a great afternoon we had some coffee and now we're gonna try um, making a little campfire and have some dinner and just relax for a bit. Otto was so happy to see him. Mm -hmm. 